Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Guess what? We got the right side of the mic working. Um, so today I'm bringing you something a little different. We're reviewing a message that I read today. Um, so it all started in uh, second period at uh, my high school. Um, someone asked the question. Sorry. Okay. Well, real quick. Sorry if I sound like nasally or anything. I woke up sick. Uh, it is not coronavirus. Um. I just believe it's allergies, which, you know, kind of sucks, but I got that red vitamin water. If you don't know, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, we were talking, and, you know, as kids, everybody, you, you want to say, like, um, you watch these superhero movies, and you're like, maybe I could be the Batman, and, you know, stuff like that. But as you get older, you start to think, like, um, well, some people start having these thoughts, like, well, maybe I am the Batman. And then, you know, they, they kind of, like, you're kind of like, hmm. Like, it's okay to want to be the Batman, but, like, if you think you're the Batman, then there might be something, like, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, but we all have those thoughts, and there's nothing wrong with it, because if I could be the Batman, bro, trust me, I'd be the Batman. I was the Batman. In the way. <clears throat> but, for every Batman, or every wannabe Batman in the world, there's going to be a wannabe Joker. So... We were sitting in our class period. I believe it was actually fourth period. And, um, no, it was fifth period. And we were sitting in our library, and we came, we, we came to the, sorry about that. We came to this, uh, subject, at this topic, uh, talking about, do you think there's any real life criminals like the Joker? And, um, so my friend, uh, Caleb Madukas, if you're watching, uh, brought it up. So he looked it up, um, after the question was asked by my friend Jacob Bloomfield, uh, if you're watching, you've just been name dropped. Um, but Jacob asked the question, do you think there's, like, if he dressed as the Joker in, like, a big city or something, he'd gain a cult following? And we discussed it, and we were curious of to see if anybody thinks they're actually the Joker. So Caleb took it upon himself to look this question up, and we stumbled across the uh, worst platform on the internet, uh, even worse than Twitter, even worse than Reddit, uh, don't get me twisted, I love Reddit, but, um, Cora. So, uh, we found this post from Juliana Joy, uh, she's, the, the question is, are there real criminals like the Joker? Now, before we dive into this, I just want to say that after reading this, I came to the consistent cons consensus that if I was grading this for an AP uh, exam, this is definitely a 4, okay? Or no, it's a 5, because this is a very well-constructed, very well-thought-out paragraph. Um, it delivers on all uh, surfaces and answers all the questions that we need, it answers all the questions that we need answered. Juliana starts off with, I did this and made national news, but I've never been violent or evil. So, from the get-go, we can see that there's obviously some ill intent from our dear friend Juliana, something that we should be fearful of, or something we should be scared of, as if she is the true Joker. But we don't know truly what makes her the true Joker until we re dive in more into this. I am insane and only wear fluorescent colors and yellow eyes. Now... After reading the second sentence, I can tell where this is going. This is somebody that believes because they are a little bit different, or because they decide to act a little bit different, they are the Joker. So, I think what divides this person is their violent acts, which they say that they do. As we can see in the first sentence, like she said, I did this and made international news, but I've never, but I've never been violent or evil. So, this is somebody that doesn't dive into evil or, you know, violent activities, but believes they're the Joker. You know, and maybe I can be wrong. Maybe this, per maybe this person truly is the Joker, and I do have something to be fearful of. But, that's what we're going to have to see, I guess. When you say you wear fluorescent colors, um, so I just want to use this as an example. So, if I wear a bright colored shirt and a bright colored pants, automatically that means that I am the Joker. Um, I don't believe that's true. Um, you know, I can 
wear a dinosaur costume to school, but I don't truly think that makes me a dinosaur. Um, but, you know, if you... We're just going to dive more into this, because maybe this maybe this person's going to catch us off guard and throw us for a whirl. Maybe they cause mass destruction. I am a joker because my crime was joking. Okay, so now we can... So, you know... I, if you crack a knock knock joke or you know something something a little goofy a little a little wacky you can come off as the joker I did not know this but for future reference I'm going to keep this in mind because if I crack a joke I, it could be taken the wrong way I could be incriminated for acting out as the joker because I if I make one singular joke I want to become the joker as Juliana states here. Uh, Juliana dives more in, saying, I am always making manic, scary jokes because I'm manic. So, I don't know what she means by her scary jokes. I wish she would go a little more into depth on that. And, uh, so, and, and she, and she claims to have manic a disorder, uh, which, you know, it could very well be possible. I'm not doubting that in any way, but practically, I mean, not in the complete sense, because I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a genius on this, so don't, don't go quoting me in the comments or yelling at me, but it is, it is almost as if it's bipolar. She also states in her, uh, you'll see it in the picture, she also states here, was born with Asperger's, denies me from bipolar. So, and this, I, I'm led to believe that she is bipolar, um, which automatically makes you the Joker. Um, she believes she is manic, which she very well could be. I'm not doubting that. But because of her upbringings or her manic episodes, she is now the Joker. Let's dive a little bit more into it. Newscasters and anchors said that I was like a female joker. I want to know what newscasters and anchors this was. Was this Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel? Um, and what did you do to those newscasters that made you that made them say you were the joker? Because personally, if someone called me the joker, I'd think I was doing something wrong. Um, I think I was giving off the wrong vibe. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to be that guy. I, you. I feel like if you get called the Joker, you need to kind of rethink your, your your whole system of what you got going on because something's not you know something's not clicking, and there's a lot you have to do to I think to become be called the Joker, um, such as you know like kill people. Uh, that's just one of them though. Um, you have to. I mean, there's a lot to sh to give off signs the joke to be the Joker. Now, you, people might say like, "Oh, you you make some sick jokes. You are a sick human being." But I think to be compared to the Joker, that's that's a lot. Um, and also, if Juliana is has been on any late night shows or anything, please let me know in the comments because I I absolutely need to know this because I I need to watch them and I need to see this uh this, these. Uh, crazy happenings on her behalf. Um, Juliana goes more into depth, saying, I definitely hate Batman because black reminds me of being psychotic. Now, I'm not going to lie. The first time I read this, when I said, I definitely hate the Batman because black reminds me of being psychotic, I, I thought this was going to get racist for a minute. And I automatically was like, no. But, uh, you know, it... I don't know what that exactly means, so I'm not going to go too much into depth, but I'm just going to assume that she's saying this because the Batman wears black, and black sends her psychotic. Um, I think Juliana has more to answer for than just being the Joker, but we're not going to dive too far into that. Um, this next line, however, is my favorite. I'm a clown amongst goths, and I totally work with the Joker, but all we're going to do is laugh. Laugh and be dumb. 
So at this point, uh, Juliana, I think I need to uh, I need to tell you something. So if there was a real life Joker, um, <coughs> have you ever watched The Dark Knight? Because I think if you remember, Joker, um, Joker doesn't work very well with others. Um, actually, in the first, in the opening scene, the Joker has his entire crew killed. So, um. I don't know, I hate to be that guy, but I, I don't think that the Joker is going to work well with you. Um, because what you want to do, you seem to have a completely different mission than what the Joker does. And maybe you're talking about a different Joker. And I and I am so very sorry, and I apologize for going on the wrong side and, uh, and misinterpreting this entire thing. But I think you need to dive a little bit more into your Joker arc and figure out what makes you the Joker. And if I see Juliana Joy on the news commit some heinous act of crime, I'll be like, you know what? I'm proven wrong. But at the end of the day, Juliana, I, I don't know. I think I think you got the right idea. I think you're working with the right stuff. But I think you got a little bit more diving to do, to just, just to make sure that you are truly the Joker. And I will eat my words if if it ends up being true. Um, but I think what we have here, guys, is the first female Joker, uh, live-action female Joker. Um, so that's pretty epic, not going to lie. Uh, I'd love to see this adaptation into a film. Um, trust me, I would be the first in line just like with Morbius. Um, I would prefer... Who would I want to play? Juliana. Um... You know, I'd probably want. I would. I would want Sydney Sweeney, uh, who played Cassie in Euphoria, because, um, yeah, I. If you've watched Euphoria, I think this explains itself. But um, that's pretty much all I got. Um, I. You know, I wasn't gonna film a video today because I felt like crap. But I, my buddies came across that video and I, that came across that um. That. Cora uh, thing I don't even know what to call it and I just like you know what I gotta make a video about this because I thought it was so funny um, at the time now I'm kind of scared because if she truly is a joker I'm done for and Juliana um, this video is satire it's irony uh, don't take it serious uh, goodbye thank you